Hi, I'm Mel, and I'm here to tell you about a new book by Indigenous author and former Crown Prosecutor Harold Johnson. The book is called Cry Wolf. There have been conflicting views on wolves in the wild over the years. They've been seen as terrifying, savage killers, or inherently shy and wary of humans. What exactly is the truth? Cry Wolf explores the investigation into the death of Kenton Joel Carnegie on November 8, 2005. The coroner's report stated that the cause of death was fatal attack by a black bear, contrary to the assertion of those first on the scene that it was in fact wolves. In 2005, there had been no known case of a human being being killed by wolves in the North American wild in more than a century, so a bear attack made sense to most people. However, Kenton's family had serious doubts and hired Johnson to represent them in an inquiry into the coroner's report. What he found was a report rife with scientific inaccuracies and false expert opinions. In the understandable race to protect wolves in the wild, misinformation had put both humans and wolves at risk. As a non-fiction book, the writing style is for the most part spare and fact-driven. However, Harold Johnson has a way of breaking the rules when it comes to genre. While dominated by facts, Johnson in integrates Cree creation stories and his own personal experience as an Indigenous man. In all of his books, both fiction and non-fiction, you are invited to consider new perspectives. Though Cry Wolf is a search for truth and scientific validity, it is also a call to examine our own beliefs and blind spots. Author Eden Robinson calls the book a crucial and timely examination of our shifting relationship to the land in general and to Canis Lupus in particular. Johnson compares the duality of the savage versus romantic view of wolves to the racist stories told about Indigenous peoples over the years. He states that when viewed from such extremes, one can argue that neither are understood or fully appreciated. The book is not a case against wolves by any means, but against our failure to acknowledge that all life on Earth is valuable, necessary, and should be respected for its roles in our ecosystems. I highly recommend Cry Wolf or any of Harold Johnson's thought-provoking books.